Thank you. Uh, comments from the chair. The only thing I would say is uh, that uh, Meredith sent out the memo about the, the street. What's it called? The, oh, the downtown core master plan? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really important for us to look at that and weigh in because it has, if you ever looked at, if you looked at the plans, it has the potential to change the whole feeling of downtown mm -hmm. because it, it increased. I'm in favor of increasing the bike paths and everything, but it basically eliminates parking in downtown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it takes at least. It reduces. <coughs> it takes <coughs> probably close to half of it. And I'd have to. You yeah. have to count it up, but yeah. anyway, yeah, I, I don't worry so much about that. Other people are going to worry about that mm -hmm. for sure, but uh, I, I worry about th just the impact of having traffic patterns changed and wider. Sort of parkways along the road and narrowing things up and having dividers between part of the road and the other. Uh, and I, I think it's something that has a high potential to impact how downtown looks and the feel of downtown. Okay. Which, I mean, downtown traffic and parking have their problems, but uh, they're not that bad. Yeah, I don't think so either. <laughs> That's Could you try moving that a little further away? I don't know if your phone is causing the interference, maybe? Okay. That first person, 79 Barry Street, uh, Woodbury Pizza. Yep. Review the replacement of three windows. Coming up. Yep, coming up. And when you talk, make sure you're talking to the microphone, please. Okay. Do you need a copy of what you sure. submitted? Thank you. Mm -hmm. okay, can you explain your project and where your windows are going to be? Yes, uh, we're replacing two windows that are currently two feet tall by three feet wide with three windows that would be three feet tall by five feet wide. Um, they're on the side and back of the building. So the back faces Stonecutter's way, but there's quite a bit of distance between it, so yeah. the change in the size I think will be significant impact. Um, and the other just faces the other side of our lot. You're looking at the... So you're going to existing locations? Yep, same and, spot on the building. And just uh, larger windows. Larger windows. There'll be a different style. The windows that are there now are an awning style, so they open from the bottom mm -hmm. and just a really small amount, so it's hard to get good ventilation in there. Um, the new windows will be sliders, so we can just... Two of them are on the west side. Yeah, it's sort of southwest. And, and one is on the south side. Southeast, yeah. yeah. That, that corner is basically due south. Looks like it was what in addition to 79 Berry Street is attached. Yeah, it's in the back. They, yeah. they share the same address. Uh huh. Yeah, it looks like it was built fairly recently. Or mm. do you know how old? No, it was? it's pretty old. Okay. The oldest part of the foundation is is just stacked stone. So. Okay, it's just I guess because the windows I, I, and everything I, I, looks. I imagine looks it was part new. of the granite industry at one uh, point. Mm -hmm. Potentially, Probably. it was a redemption center for a long time, and then yes. it was an auto parts store most recently. So basically, you're going to get more light in there too. More light, better insulation. More airflow. Better airflow. So what? What's in that space? What What do you do upstairs now? Uh, in that space right now, we just have some offices, and we're getting ready to renovate it to become a restaurant kitchen. Oh. So we have the, good pizza, but I. <laughs> so where the windows are is where potentially where? the public will be. Uh, no, that will be workspace. That will be a, a kitchen. Is this part of the, this was the auto parts store? Yeah. All right. So what faces the front here? Was that like the big open window? Yeah. 
was a BMW motorcycle dealer for a while. Was it? Yeah, <laughs> front part, not not that, not where you guys are, okay. where the auto parts store is. The auto parts store has moved. We're in there now. Yeah. Oh, you're in there. Yeah. Oh, Billy's oh. moving. Moved to there. Yeah, it's part of the whole. It was a, a good BMW motorcycle dealer for a while. So, why the why the size? That you check. I'm, I'm just not why three just by to keep five. it consistent with kind of what it's it generally the same, you know, bigger. wider than tall, slightly bigger. Um, so sort of same ratio? More or less. It's close. Is it um, is it low ceiling height in that? It's it's pretty low. I'd say they're about eight eight feet in that part of the off this end. Yeah. There's not a lot of room to go up. Um, they're also presently at about that height. If I'm standing in front of them, um, so are you gonna push desks or something underneath them? Is that the idea? Work tables. Yeah. Um, just wondering if there's a, if there's another configuration that you would consider rather than just. To know if you went with this style just to match what's there, but make it bigger, or, or the, we the considered going was. going lower, having windows that like a double hung that slides vertically. But if if we then pushed our work tables up against them, they'd cover the bottom part of the window. So it would be ideal. And why a glider? Because a slider, yeah. or glider, yeah. uh, because that's the style that you can get in that orientation. Um, mm -hmm. I think awning windows are not manufactured all that much anymore. They have their issues, but they are yeah they they're manufactured, but they have issues. Mm -hmm. This will have issues as well as far as operability. I think. As a heads up. <laughs> so what issues will it have? I think over time you're going to find that they're a pain to open and close. Okay. So. I replaced an awning window with one of these in my kitchen, and I've never been happier. Though, okay. ten years ago. Okay. Just you know, it's not as Great. large as the one that you're talking about. All right. Gives you a lot more light. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And the existing windows are very old. They're single pane. Mm -hmm. Basically, no insulation. Anything else? My guess is these windows were probably put in the sixties or something. Yeah, that would be my guess. But what's the siding of the building? The siding is a vertical wood, uh -huh. but it's, you know, it sort of looks like a board and batten, but it's just a manufactured product. Uh -huh. T-111, probably. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we got a set of criteria to go through. <coughs> uh, you gotta help me, do we vote before the, do we do the criteria? No criteria uh, preservation or reconstruction of the appropriate historic style if the proposed project is in a historic district or involves an historic structure. Do you know what the list is? Is this on the National Register? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, actually, it is. It is. I think it's. Uh, it, but it's that not was surprising to me. The, the, did, uh, the building did, uh, that's labeled on the site map as 79 Berry Street is quite a bit older. Well, it might be the... But the they share the same address. Confused. Yeah. It, I mean, it looks like a non-historic addition, but... Yeah, I think, know, I I think, that, the, I think that this it says yes in here because <coughs> the property as a whole is... Trying to, oh, no, I remember looking this up. It's just unfortunately somehow didn't make it in here. This is listed, but it's, it's not... It's, it doesn't go into details on the windows or anything well, like that. Well, I, I would think that, you know, having the manufactured siding, whatever it is, a 
state board in Latin and all of that, I, I, I would say that this is acceptable in that context in the windows as long as they're in the same proportion and the same size. The windows are probably, I don't know, from the 60s, 70s, I mm -hmm. don't know. Okay. These are a little bit bigger, Eric, but yeah. it looks they to are. me like they're, they're, they're still proportional. Yeah, and then the, you know they're sort of in blank walls, particularly. Yeah, I know. So, yeah. Harmony of exterior design with other properties in the district. I guess that's acceptable. It's all kinds of things. Um, compatibility of proposed exterior materials with other properties in the district. That's acceptable. Compatibility of the proposed landscaping. No landscaping, right? <laughs> I, I just have to ask. Oh, I understand. Yeah, I Don't worry, we, we ask these things too in our office. It's just every once in a while people change their minds between there and here. Oh, Circle the wrong one. Uh, prevention of users and incompatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials. That's acceptable. Location and appearance of all utilities, no lighting or anything going. Okay. Recognition and respect for view quarters. It's not really applicable. It's not going to change the view quarters. So, uh, all in favor? Okay, so. See what 16th or 17th today? 17. 18th. 18th. Oh, it would be it would be 17th if we were meeting on a Monday like normal. Okay. But it's a Tuesday. Signature. You just leave a pin right there, don't you? Mm hmm. I do. Good. <laughs> I don't always get them back, but I do try to leave a pin there. Awesome. So, and Audra and I have the rest of the administrative report for the um, larger admin permit downstairs. I gave it back to Audra, so we should issue this tomorrow. Okay, great. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Yeah. Good luck. Thanks. With yeah, good luck with the change in location. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to do outside pizza again this summer? Uh, we'll see. Tents? Um, we might be down at Bar Hill again this summer. Okay. Mm. I think everybody's this, at Bar Hill. <laughs> this, this restaurant project is it's a ways off, but we'll get there. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, we got some minutes, right? Mm -hmm. February 3rd. <clears throat> Anybody look at the minutes and do I hear a motion or comments or correction? I make a motion to accept the minutes as written. Second that. All in favor? There you Should go. Yes? Uh, no. Oh, you wait, I forgot you weren't here. Huh. Another long, drawn-out meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen minutes. Uh, so I heard from Liz and Eric about the second. Um, if you think, you know, let, let me know if you think you can stay late on the second. Um, and it may not actually be all that late to have 
a meeting with the Historic Preservation Commission about the core master, downtown core master plan. It's, so I sent you a link that'll pull up all the stuff you see in the hallway, yeah. um, plus more, or I can also print things out for you if you need me to. Um, but let us know, because I think, I know Eric really wants, Eric and Bob. Well, I think it's, it's I a stay. major it's thing in downtown. Email you back. Yeah, I can stay on the Yeah, no, no worries. And it's, I mean, but it's also, I, my thought was that what we could do is close down the DRC meeting and then open up a special HPC so that then I can work with Historic Preservation if we do come out with official joint comments um, to try and send something because um, SE Group might stop taking public comments as of the 6th on that before they then do their formal <coughs> recommendations to City Council. <coughs> The, I mean, this is exactly the kind of thing I think both the Preservation Commission and Design Review was she involved in mm -hmm. prior to the City Council saying go. I just, yeah. I, the likelihood of anything happening, I think, I see millions of dollars. <laughs> right, it looks what expensive. What they want to do. <clears throat> right, definitely. And it, it wouldn't be on my high priority list even if I thought it was okay. Yeah, and this isn't, you know, this isn't, Final design. This is more conceptual and to work into as part of I think the city planning process, especially because a lot of a lot of this design is contingent on the garage getting built. Um, I think the garage is going to get built. Would be my guess, but I, 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 I you read, never know. There's a big article in the Times Argus today about the legal decisions, mm -hmm. which I can't say I understood, even though I read it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's. I read the decisions. It's. It's a mixed bag. It's just. It's narrowing in general, narrowing the questions that are open for trial in May, down fairly significantly, and saying that um, the twenty four VSA forty four thirteen, which limits zoning and municipal regulation of um, state and community owned, i.e., other municipal projects, applies. To most everything, so it, it really winnowed down what the court can can either review as a statement of questions or put conditions on. The uh, other thing that's interesting is that the new uh, the proposed Act 250 changes would mm. eliminate review of anything by Act 250 in a downtown district, and so that would make a big difference. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that does anything for the garage because the garage already went already through the downtown. Yeah, yeah it's already, yeah, already Right, I mean, it, it wouldn't apply to this project. Yeah, but future. But in, the yeah. fu in the future. Does that have to be a designated downtown? Is there I some think so. For that? Yeah, yeah, I think so. And Montpelier's already got a designated downtown. Okay. I think there are maybe 14 or 15 in, in the state. I don't know. Uh, okay. Anything else? No. I move to adjourn. <laughs> Good. Thank you all for coming.